In today's China View, we meet a group of people who have found fulfillment and happiness in their jobs as ink coffiners. We find out how their unconventional careers have affected their personalities and personal lives. Fifty-year-old Wang Zhongli has worked as an ink coffiner for almost thirty years. It's his duty to prepare the body of a deceased person and place it into the coffin. I didn't tell my son when he was younger because I was worried that he wouldn't understand. I used to tell him that I worked in the Bureau of Civil Affairs, not in funeral parlor. One finds that people often have preconceptions about his line of work. As a result, he even avoids shaking hands with people unless they offer their hands first. I seldom visit my relatives and friends even during the Spring Festival holiday. That's because even members of my own family look down on me because of what I do for a living. Despite the often reactions he receives towards his job, one has never considered a change of career. When I was young, this job was just a means of making a living. But as time went by, I began to understand the significance of my job. During the hardest times, when I have to apply makeup to those who died in accidents, I'm most satisfied when I can offer some comfort to those relatives who come to visit them. There are 16 ink coffiners working at the Jinan Funeral Parlor. Most of the employees are male and in their 30s. However, In recent years, more young women have impacted on careers at the parlor. Xin Sha Sha and Zhang Jin are the youngest recruits here. The college graduates are two of the four male in coffiners working for the Jinan Funeral Service. Every morning at 8:30, the girls start to work. They work as a team on one body at a time. They gently close the eyes of the client. And softly clean the face with a cotton swab dipped in salt water. They then apply face powder and blusher, pencil on the eyebrows, and apply lipstick to give the face a natural, healthy glow. End result they aim for is a calm look, as though the client is sleeping peacefully. I come from a small village, and a lot of people there look down on what I do. My family is not happy with my choice of career. My parents always tell me that my job will make it harder to find a boyfriend and make friends. Zhang Jing told us how, as students, they were encouraged to watch a Japanese film about the life of an ink coffiner. I found the film really moving. It changed my perspective on this career. In the past, I had always thought of death and funerals and something cold and scary, but this changed everything. Xin said she still feels afraid sometimes, but a dead body will no longer make her feel cold. However, she told us how the first time she had to deal with a body that had been involved in an accident, she became so upset that she vomited. The person's face was ripped in two, and his scalp was split. I couldn't handle it, but I had to remind myself that I'm a professional, and I forced myself to hold the person's head while my teacher did. Xin said, after work that day, she couldn't face dinner. Despite their unconventional jobs, Xin and Zhang are just like other girls at their age. In their spare time, they enjoy surfing the internet. Xin Sha Sha said that her friends really invited her out because they are afraid of her job. They are yet to find boyfriends, leading their families to further worry about their futures. My family has introduced some potential boyfriends to me. My sisters say that when the boys' families ask them what I do for a living, they don't know whether to lie or tell the truth. I simply tell them that I'm proud of what I do.